a puppet show with an international flavour. Performed entirely in Mandarin, it's just one of the many Chinese-inspired lessons these kids are sucking in. We're writing our own story, and then we have a storyboard over there so we make our own, and then we do some writing on the ink. Mawson Primary's immersion program giving students the tools to learn a second language. It gets easier as you go on, but at the beginning it's a little hard. It's not too hard when you're looking at it, but if you're just reading the opinion and then you have to write the characters, I'd say that's pretty hard. Fine-tuning their tongue while continuing with other studies at the same time. We sometimes learn math in our Chinese book instead of our math book. But yeah, it doesn't really change the classroom environment very much because we're kind of used to Mandarin. Lessons already coming in handy beyond the school walls. You can use it when you go to like different countries. Like when I went to Hong Kong, we got to use the language there. These bilingual buddies proof it's never too early or too late to learn a second language. Don't stress if you don't know much. Just learn the basics. You can start off with the simple stuff like um, hello, like ni hao and that kind of stuff. Lewis Haskew, Win News. Enjoyed this Win News item? Like, tag or share with friends.